What's up everybody? Welcome back to another one. It's been a while. Uh, about two months I think. So we're gonna hop into some things today. Uh, not a lot been happening. Been painting the house here and doing some other stuff. It's taken up a lot of time. Haven't had a whole lot of time to go out do anything fishing wise. Uh, no room really uh, to hunt right now except squirrel season is in. Uh, might take that up uh, whenever the ticks die off. They're pretty bad right now. But as you can tell by the thumbnail, gonna be mounting my turkey. Uh, if you seen some of my shorts earlier in the year, uh, you probably seen uh, the video that I put up about that guy. Uh, if you didn't, you might want to go ahead and subscribe so you get some of my shorts. Uh, if I'm just trying to do some stuff here and there, don't have time for a full video, I usually try and throw up a short. I uh, haven't been able to even do that in a while, but uh, I'll do my best to do better at that. So let's hop into it and I'll show you uh, what we're going to do with this turkey that I got earlier this year. Alright, so I got this little kit here from HS Strut and I really like it and I've watched some videos on how to put it all together and uh, it's super simple. The instructions that came with it were really basic so I had to get a little better idea and the company that makes it actually has a fantastic video on how to use it. Um, if you want to watch it, you can, but you can also see it because I'm about to do it right here, right now. So uh, I'll pop this guy out and then I'll show you kind of what we're going to do to the tail fan uh, before we get it up on this board here. Alright, got my fan here. I shot this bird, I think it was April 4th, and today is June the 8th. So this sucker has been drying for quite a while. You can see the salt there uh, where I've had him drying. He's good to dry, all set up. Uh, I just put him on a board and then... I had him flipped upside down like this so had a bunch of salt on there obviously I pulled this around scraped off all the meat like you would anytime you do these failed tail fans and then I took a, a staple gun and I shot some staples here at the base to keep these uh, two feathers here firm and that was just enough to keep this whole thing spread out like that so far so Gonna start off, I uh, got the hot glue gun here. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of hot glue here over the back just to keep that nice and firm. I mean, that's dried out, it'll be enough to hold it, but nothing like adding a little protection to it uh, to keep that held in spot. A lot of people use Bondo. I think that's a great idea. I just didn't wanna go out and buy Bondo whenever I got a hot glue gun here at home. So that's why I'm using it. <laughs> I'm just letting that drizzle down over it and just kind of form over it. I don't want to get it up too high because I might be a little bit afraid to catch those little feathers on fire, singe them a little bit because this is hot, obviously. Uh, so I didn't put a whole lot on, but I was trying to be as liberal as possible. So that should just take a minute to harden up. And in the meantime, I will grab the back of my plaque here, move my beard there, and while I have time for that to harden up, I'm going to go ahead and put the beard into place on this guy. So, bring him over, grab my beard, put a little bit of hot glue right up here in this little cutout for the beard. Grab him, push him down in there so that he gets a nice good stick, and then let him sit there, let that glue harden up, and then we'll move on. Alright, now that our glue is hardened, I'm going to take the back of the plate here. And there's two holes here you should be able to see. I'm just going to line those screws up with it. 
and then I'm going to screw this portion of the plaque down just by hand really fast. Same here. All right. So now you should have your beard on there like so. And this actually works really good for that, Jake. Uh, it actually makes the beard about or it's about the same length as the beard so uh, it doesn't look a crazy out of whack uh, if I had a, a much longer beard way down here uh, hanging off of it so this would be a great one for Jake so turning our attention back to our tail fan here we're gonna flip that dude over now that that's all dry and then uh, we're going to do kind of the same process again. We're going to drizzle a bunch of hot glue right here. And then we're going to take our plaque and we're going to press down on that and secure it in the spot. So let's get that. So again, just a spot of hot glue here. I just had to add a stick so it may, there we go, may take a second to get enough on there. And if I don't get enough right now on this initial stick, once I get it on to the plaque, why well, we can add some more, of course, and get it to stick the rest of the way. All right. Kind of center it. And press down. And hold it there until we get her dry. Alright, I got her flipped over now, and I'm just going to add in a little bit more glue here on the sides, across the back, and that'll help keep it securely in place where I want it while we're putting the last of the hardware on before we put this guy on the wall. So I'm just going to continue to hold him there in that spot till that glue starts to set up and then I'll let it dry and then we'll start putting the hardware in place. And now that your fan is all hardened, the glue is, and dried into place, take your mounting bracket. They give you three screws. These two screws uh, coordinate with these two small holes right here and then this larger hole and larger screw that will eventually go through the back of the tail fan and that's just to very securely keep it in place in case your hot glue bondo whatever you plan on using does fail uh, and then after that we should have a fully uh, complete turkey fan and plaque able to be mounted on the wall so let me get this guy lined up and screwed into place and then we will go about getting him on the wall starting in by the fingers there there we go there it starts
snug. And put this side in. to do this one by hand but if we need to break out the big guns and get a drill I will go do that and it may just be easier if I do all right let's do that all right power tools in use so you know be as safe as you can Took a lot less time. Now the final step to all this is to do what I've just done, which is to take your turkey, put him on the wall, in the kitchen, so that when your wife comes home, that's where she finds it. And then she can tell you where you're supposed to put it. <laughs> so, hope you all enjoyed this. I, it was just me doing something around the house, finally getting that turkey on the wall. Not bad for Jake. I might add the spurs later. Uh, I'll probably just uh, take them, uh, saw them down, and then uh, run some leather through them. Hang them there by the beard like you see. So, till next time, see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, and also, if you're interested in this plaque combo, uh, I'll link it down in the description below so you can go get yourselves. Pretty inexpensive. I think I got mine for like 15 bucks. So, see you later.